Hey guys, so we went to my friend Misty's house and she had an abundance of eggs that she was unable to get to at the time. Um, we went through each egg and we kind of candled to see what was viable, what was not. So that I could incubate 12 to 14 of them and we can just half. Um, I also had some eggs that I threw in the incubator. Our ducks are fairly still young. So I wanted to just see if maybe we could incubate them, see if they're viable. Um, but I'm not gonna touch ours because ours are fairly new. They were just pretty much the yolk when we got them. But hers, a lot of hers were, had already had tiny speck um, with a little tiny bit of veins. We weren't sure if they were good or not. So we're gonna check them now. If you are wanting to incubate duck eggs, the temperature here in our Nurture Right 360 is gonna be 99.5, 55%. The reason 53% right now is because we just misted our duck eggs. A lot of the times when you lose duck eggs in the incubator, um, it's really because they cannot break through the tough shell. When incubating duck eggs, the shell is so tough that when it hits like maybe five days, open the incubator just a bit and mist it with a sprayer with lukewarm water. That'll help the shell to be softer. So when they do hatch, they'll be able to break through just fine. The last thing you want is your ducks to get fully formed and ready, but they can't break through the shell. That's very disappointing, frustrating, and a huge waste of time. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to know your egg is viable. So you don't wanna open this too much, but I am gonna pull a couple so I can show you. I'm gonna close the curtains. See how quickly the humidity count goes down? It's already 46. Our incubator has a little button. You just put it on there. and I'm searching, there's a tiny little speck there of red with little veins. You can't really see it too much, too much, but it is there. So I'm gonna leave it in there. That looks like it is, you see the dark circle? That it is fertile, so I'm gonna leave it in there. I'm gonna pull another one. And that one is probably about three to four days. Here's another one. Wow, look at that one. That one is probably more like five days. It's already starting to form. You see a tiny bit of movement. What you want to see is all of these veins. If you see the red veins, you are in the right place and everything is going according to plan. You wanna be very gentle when you put these back. And as you can see, our incubator has a additional um, rotator because your eggs have to be rotated at least three to four times a day. Look at that one, tiny, but you see, I see a little heartbeat moving and moving in there. I don't know if you get it on video, but look at these veins, looks really good. So what scared me at first was a lot of these had a little circle which that is actually normal, but that can be confused for the blood circle. A blood circle is a big red circle on the egg that's very thick and bright. And that means that your embryo has died in the egg. That is not the case. I went ahead and I checked the majority of these and they are good. Now I'm gonna check my duck eggs. These are brand new in the incubator. These were, oh, didn't even look like they were ready, but I just wanna kinda of show you something. So you're not seeing anything but yolk. This is brand new in the incubator. This is just a round yolk sac. You are gonna wait probably six days before you can even see anything if you just grab some eggs from the duck and just put them in here. Then we'll pull them out and we'll see what they look like. So I'm not going to look at any more of these eggs because I know they're fresh and I'm not gonna see anything. And the less I open this incubator, the better. You wanna keep your incubator in a room that is somewhat warm. Um, you don't wanna keep them in a really cold basement or something if you're gonna look at them because 
Opening the incubator in here is not as bad because we do have a south facing window. So it gets a lot warmer in here than it does the rest of the house. And it's a smaller area. Um, if you are opening your incubator open and closing in a very cold area, um, it could really mess up the temperature and the growth of your eggs. Okay, so on day 28, that's hatching day. Uh, duck eggs take about 28 days to hatch unless you have Muscovies. If you have Muscovies, they can take a few more days after that, probably like 30, 31 days to hatch. Um, but we have Welsh Harlequin in here and they're going to take about the, the regular amount of days. Now, if you have, when it hits about 26 days, three days before hatching day, you are going to take out the rotator and you are going to stop misting. You are going to completely leave your duck eggs in there to hatch. You're not going to do anything else. You're just going to wait till there is babies. I know that it can be so tempting to see them pecking and hear them and them not coming out. You wanting to just break open that shell. That is very dangerous. They have to eat their sack. They have to do it themselves. Unless they've been in that egg, um, I mean, a rich, extensive amount of time and you see no progress, everybody else is hatched out, I wouldn't even touch the egg. I have had to intervene one time and that was the case where it was it was a quail egg. It was the last, it started, it was like one of the first to start pecking and the very last to hatch. It just stopped, it got tired, so I opened it just a tiny bit and that helped it enough to get out. So leave your duck eggs alone, 28 days to hatch, 26 days, you go ahead and take the rotator out and you stop misting the eggs. Uh, the temperature should be 99.5 and the humidity should be 55%. You can do this. I was nervous when I first got the eggs because I was like, oh no, the blood ring. But take a breath. I was talking to my friend Monica about this from Bland's Promised Land Ranch. And she was pretty much telling me the same thing I was thinking. Calm down. Keep the eggs in there. Wait a few days. Check them. If they are viable, keep them in there. If they are not viable, if there's no progress, take them out. No hurt in that. Do not keep uh, eggs that are not viable in the incubator the full time. Do not do that. Give it maybe four or five days and see um, because you'll have rotten eggs. You'll literally be cooking, slow cooking, rotten eggs and then your room will stink so bad. I know this from experience. I had one like that and I had to hurry up and take it out and get rid of it. So I hope I helped you. I hope you guys have an amazing time trying to incubate your duck eggs. Um, it's fairly simple. The hardest thing about it is just waiting, but you can do it. God bless you guys. Hope you have a great day.